Self Henna Tips by Moonchild Mandy. Hola and bienvenido. I promised Khadija of Stained Body Art that I would make a video, but as I very excitedly agreed to it, I never did it because I got really busy doing schoolwork and such. So I'll share some tips with you guys, I guess, along the way. Um, you're gonna need henna for this. Always have a paper towel or cloth that you can use to clean off your henna cone and do a little bit of warm ups before you begin. Um, if you're looking for perfection, then this video is not for you because you have to let go of that, that mindset, because this is henna. These are fantastic humps. Look at these humps. You can't beat them. Tough crowd. Okay. So, um, here we have my tip has been cut. That's a circumcision joke. <laughs> I've been watching too much Miss Maisel lately. So it's good to have your happy drum with you before you begin. But if you don't have a happy drum at home, then I recommend YouTubing wind chimes and slowing your breathing and calming down because when you're too excited, you tend to shake and breathe faster like I'm doing right now. So I really don't know what I'm going to do, but what I am going to do is I'm going to dot out where I want to place my henna to see if I like the placement. Oh, thinking. So you can barely see it. It's like a surgeon's markings. When you're not loving the flow of your henna cone, snip, snip, use really sharp scissors and make sure that you don't cut it at an angle. So remember not to bulk your knees because you don't want to pass out while you're doing this. And now it doesn't need to be perfect. How I'm doing these little shading parts is I am dragging the tip over my skin, lightly squeezing, moving quickly. Just remember to breathe. I love how everyone says that, um, you know, or they're under the impression that I do this very easily, but it's taken a ton of practice. And as you can see, this isn't exactly easy. I'm fighting against my shaking hand and trying not to pass out. <laughs> Squeeze them juicy, juicy dots. Boy, oh boy. So you want to make things thicker when you're going on the chest or the neck or somewhere where the skin is very thin because it won't stain as dark. So the thicker you apply the henna, the darker the potential stain will be. As always, use fresh, natural henna. If you have any questions on the naturalness of your henna, definitely ask me. Get her done, that's where we're at. Oh boy, I'm a shaky, shaky thing. My biggest inspiration is probably nature. I'm a nature girl. I love being outside. 
Miami is especially interesting because the tropical plants here are fan-fucking-tastic. What's up, Dad? Who are you talking to? Myself. Oh. Obviously. Oh. Uh, there's something else you can try with your... Oh, you're doing the work in the mirror. Yes. Wow. That looks like a... Uh... Leaf? Uh, one of those plants that, that grows in Florida. It is. Which one is it? <laughs> not a, it's not a uh... the surfer shirts use that a lot don't they uh, or is that a poppy I think this is a wacky cookie flower wacky cookie <laughs> All right, well, there we have it. A freestyle design featuring Moonchild. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope this inspires somebody to go out of the box and be a little weird. Thanks for tuning in. Peace and blessings.